What's up guys and welcome to Poker Night. In this video I'm going to teach you how to play the poker game called Trainwreck. Oh, it's a fun game, there's a lot of cards on the table, and it's called Trainwreck because you can go from the winning hand to the losing hand in a matter of one flip of the card. So keep watching, I'm going to show you how to play it and deal it. So here's how you play and deal the poker game called Trainwreck. You're going to start with a shuffled deck, Determine what your ante is going to be. Let's say each chip is worth a quarter, and the ante is a quarter. So once the ante is good, you're going to deal all players five down cards. And they can go ahead and look at them, organize them, do whatever they want with them. Just don't show them to any other players. Now once everyone has their five down cards, you're going to deal three rows of four across the center of the table. Should look something like this. And now from the dealer's perspective, this is top row, middle row, bottom row. Every card I turn over in this top row, it's called the muck row. Uh, let's say I turn over a four in this top row, in the muck row. Then all fours have to be discarded no matter if they're whole cards or community cards. Now in these two rows, you're going to make your best poker hand. So these two rows here are community rows. So right now, all players can take a look at their cards. Let's take a look and see what he's holding. No, oh, he likes that. We'll say he's going to bet a quarter, and everybody else is going to call. So now you're going to turn over one card in each row. We'll turn over the top, middle, and bottom. So right now in the muck row, all sixes have to be discarded. Let's see if he has a six. Let's check this guy's hand here. And I'll show you the dealer's hand. So nobody's holding a six, everybody's safe. Now, whatever card is in this top muck row, if it's down here in the community area, it gets tossed out as well. So right now, betting action is just going to continue in a clockwise motion or left of dealer. We'll say this player is going to bet another quarter, and everybody's going to call. So now you turn over one card in each of the other rows again. So right now, anyone holding an 8 has got to muck it. And I think somebody had an 8 in here. Yep, there's one right there. So he's got to take this 8 and you can throw it away over here in like a discard pile. And I don't think the dealer had an 8. Nope. Oh. So now you have another betting round. This player here, he'll go another quarter. We'll see everybody's going to call. Now a dealer turns over cards in the third row. So all tens need to be mucked. And I don't think anyone was holding a ten. Yeah, let's double check the dealer's hand. Nope. And there's no tens down here in either of these rows. Once again, this player here, he's going to bet a quarter. Everybody's going to call. Now we can turn over the last row. So in this example, the three is in the muck row, so this three here has got to get mucked. And we'll check everybody's cards again. I think he's safe. And this poor guy here, he's got to muck another card. And dealer, he's safe. So when you have another betting round, this player here is going to bet another quarter. And everybody's going to call. So now all the players are going to make their best five card poker hand. That player there, he's only got three cards left. 
And you can either use this row or this row. So right now, if this player here, if he wants to use part of this row, he's got a full boat, kings over queens. Uh, this row here doesn't help him. This player here, using the middle row, he's got a pair of aces and a pair of fives. Using the bottom row doesn't really help him. And dealer with the king, jack, and queen, he's using the bottom row, he's got kings and queens. Middle row, he's got four spades. Well, it looks like this player here, using his two cowboys and his queen, because he has a full boat. So this player here is going to win the pot. As you can see, the pot's pretty big, just playing three guys at a quarter a pop, no raises. And that ends the game. Like I said, there's a lot of cards on the table. Um, there's not a whole lot of guys that know how to play that game. Uh, it is pretty fun. You usually get some guys hooting and hollering at the table because you usually go from a good winning hand to losing, and usually someone that has nothing winds up winning that game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, take this game to your next poker night, and hopefully your friends will enjoy playing Trainwreck. And have a good game night.